A Norman window has the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle. If the perimeter of the window is 40 feet, write a function for the area of the window in terms of the radius of the semicircle, and using a graphing calculator, determine the dimensions that maximize the area of the window. Let's draw it first. We have a rectangle. surmounted by a semicircle. The perimeter is 40 feet. We're asked to write a function for the area of the window in terms of the radius of the semicircle. So we have this semicircle and it has radius r. Well then, the area, well I know the area of the semicircle. Area of the semicircle is half pi by the radius square. All right, because the area of the circle is pi times the radius square, and the semicircle is half. Now if that's the radius, well then this distance is also the radius, and this distance is the radius, so then the base is 2r, and the height, well, we don't know the height, and they don't tell us anything about it, so let's just call it h. And then the area of that rectangle would be 2rh. But we were asked to write a function for the area in terms of just the radius, and we have the radius and the height. So we have to figure out, we have to get rid of the height. And so now, here's where we will deal with this constraint on the problem. The perimeter is 40 feet. So let's use that constraint. Well the perimeter, let's see, um, the perimeter would be the h plus 2r plus h, because that's the distance around the rectangle, right? h plus 2r and then another h. Now we have a circumference here, but it's only half of a circumference. So recall from geometry that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius. Well, since we have a semicircle, we would want half the circumference, which would be pi times the radius. So plus pi times the radius is equal to 40 feet. So we have 2r plus 2h plus pi r is equal to 40. So now what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of that h in the area function. So let's solve for h. 2h is equal to 40 minus 2r minus pi r. h would equal 40 minus 2r minus pi r over 2. So then I can take my area function and substituting for r, the area would be, and now actually I can write area as a function of r, 1 half pi r square plus 2r times 40 minus 2r minus pi r over 2. And we can simplify this a little bit. These 2's will reduce out. And distributing the r, the area as a function of r is 1 half pi r squared plus 40r minus 2r squared minus pi r squared. So there's my area as a function of r. Now, using a graphing calculator, determine the dimensions that maximize the area of the window. So I'm going to go to my calculator and input my function, and I'll use x instead of r. So let's see, 1 half pi r squared. So 1 half pi x squared plus 40x minus 2x squared minus pi x squared. Now, the radius 
x is the radius, and so a minimum value for the radius would be 0, and a maximum value, I'm just going to go to 10, just kind of guessing, since the perimeter is 40, 10 seems to be a max, you know, uh, seems to be a reasonable maximum. And I'll use a scale of 1, and then the area, well, I know the minimum area is 0, and then the maximum, I'm just going to kind of go with 10 square, I'm going to go with 100 for the maximum. And I'll use a scale of 10s there. All right, so I was pretty close. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, find, uh, let me adjust my window a little bit. Adjust the maximum here to, how about uh, 150, and regraph it. All right, and I do see the maximum. And so let's calculate the maximum. All right, I'm a little bit to the left of where I think it is. I'll hit Enter once. Move to the right, hit enter a second time, and go back towards the middle, and a third time. And so the dimensions, x would have to be 5.6, remember that's my r. So the maximum occurs when r is equal to 5.6 feet. So if r is 5.6 feet, then 2r would be 5.6 times 2. That's 11.2 feet. And this r would be 5.6 feet. And then the height, the height is 40 minus 2r. So that's minus 11.2 minus pi r. So pi times 5.6. 6 and divide that whole thing by 2. So let's see, 40 minus 11.2 minus pi times 5.6. Enter that and divide by 2. And that's actually, the height would actually be 5.6 as well. 